Welcome to a dose of positivity. I want to introduce you guys to my little inspiration right here. Ah. If it wasn't for my daughter, Casey Banville, I would not be doing what I'm doing today. I would never have created a dose of positivity. I would never have embraced myself as a work in progress. So my theater girl here and all the experiences that she's had in theater has taught me how to embrace my character for who I am and just accept and trust that I'm here in this moment for a reason. So thank you. You're I welcome. I truly appreciate you. I love you. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> and not just because you're my daughter. <laughs> okay, but just like everyone else in the world, we all have challenges. We all have things that hold us back. And I know that first semester of sophomore year was rough for you. Yes, it most definitely was. And we had conversations and I want you to explain because I'm always talking about positivity, but it's hard to find. It really is. When you're surrounded by negative things and negative people and stuff that stresses you out, it's hard to find the positivity. So tell me what you did. Or first start by telling me what was bothering you, what was holding you back from being positive. Yeah, so I've always been like straight A honor student doing everything I possibly could in high school and then I got to college and I tried to do the exact same thing and I realized that it was really bogging me down because I had so many unnecessary responsibilities and classes to take. Um, for example, I was in the honors program. I have always been an honors AP student throughout high school so I thought, oh college, perfect, honors program, great! And then I got into the honors program and I learned I had to take so many unnecessary classes in order to just be an honor student. And so I decided, I'm like, all right, let's cut this out. Let's see how it works. And it's worked beautifully. I've gotten to take classes that I really wanted to take. And the honors program isn't bad. I'm actually going to take an honors class next semester, but that's because I want to take it. It's interesting to me. You're choosing. Exactly. Yes. So. How about, have you found that you had to give yourself permission? Yes. <laughs> yes, most definitely. And it wasn't just me giving her permission. It was you giving yourself permission. Yeah. Right? To embrace your... Yeah. I've been, I've always been hard on myself. That's just who I am as a person. I always want to be the best and brightest that I can possibly be. So letting go of that was hard. Letting go of the honors program was hard because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to have that title anymore. Oh, my God. But then I just realized I'm like, no, this is good for me, mm -hmm. like me as a person, not me as like an academic student or me as this, me as that, me as Casey Banville human being. This is what I need to do. There you go. So and along those lines, I said that Casey was my inspiration and that I learned so much from her. What I've learned from her and what I always speak to you guys about is being a work in progress. Okay, and it's funny that she explained everything that she explained as I did when I was growing up as an overachieving, stressed out perfectionist. <laughs> like, oh my God, we've all been there. <laughs> we've all been there. But if you embrace yourself as a work in progress and you give yourself permission to do different things and, and change your path and your journey and you choose to take care of you and put joy first yes. instead of pleasing other people and being the perfect person you can be. We're not perfect, you guys. We're a work in progress. So it just, it changes your life. It really, truly does. So are you finding more joy yes. in your semester? Yes, most definitely. I'm finding joy in my classes and the activities that I do with my friends, just being able to let go of those negative things and that stress has changed me immensely and given me new opportunities to do new things that I really, really enjoy and really love. See, you guys, it's not all bad. You just have to stop the hamster wheel sometimes. Sometimes we go so fast and so furious and we're just going, 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 going that we don't stop to think about where we're going <laughs> or how we're getting there or what it's doing to us. So by all means, Stop the hamster wheel, get off. Think about where you're at. Think about the positive in your life. Think about the negative in your life. Think about what you can do to change it so that you can find your happy place. Most definitely. It's gonna make you more self-aware and it's gonna help you long, long fold. Most definitely. I love you guys. And I love my inspiration. I love you Yay. too. <laughs> Anything else to 
add? Nope. <laughs> okay. You guys take care and have a happy Easter. Yes. Bye.